this is the hip hinge position, okay? Would you go with me on this? Now, push your butt back. Good. Now, the way, the way I like to teach it is, now let's have you face this way for me, okay? Now, especially with a female athlete, is I put a stick here like this, and now what I want you to push your butt back until you touch the hip. Uh, good. Now we'll go back a little farther. This is the basic way I used to always teach it. Good. Do you feel out your hamstrings? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually excellent. Now usually, to be honest, most female athletes say, I don't feel that. I, just, I, don't, I don't get it. I feel my toes coming off the ground. Oh, that's, oh, that's actually excellent. The fact that she's in, in, in Vibrams is good, and her toes are coming up is excellent. See, see how simple this is? Now you'll notice what I am cueing. I haven't told her to go down at all. I told her to go butt back. Would you please do it wrong by going deeper? Okay, just like bending, maximally bending. See that? That's the position you usually get. Now that's fine, but that's not the hinge. Okay, try it again. Minimal knee bend, butt back. Push back, 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 back. Now, am I right in saying that your hamstring's really loaded up there, right? Okay, good. That's when you know you've got it right. I'm going to ask you to do it one more time, please. Push it back. Okay, I want you to hold it there, butt back. Okay, that there's good. Now, if this, okay, put your hand up, chin up, chin up. Now, if this is in a correct position, this is one end of the bow, this is another end of the bow, and this would be the bow string. The hamstring would become the bow string, and literally, this arrow is any kind of lift, jump, movement she wants to do. The more she swings, the more she hinges, the more efficient, just snap up into a swing for me, will you? Boom, just snap up, perfect. See how simple that movement was? which is why the swing is so under, undervalued. Because when you see it done eloquent, ele elegantly like she just did, it's too simple. Let's make it more complicated. And yet, we just, she is now a better athlete. If she, seriously, do that again for me, butt back, and snap forward. If she was to hit you right there, you would remain hitted, okay? That's very good. Now, I struggled teaching females this movement. She's very good. So the next way I, I decided, to, okay, let's do that. The other, the other method is this one. Now, supporting here, we interlock the hands. Now I'm pushing her back. Okay, okay, hinge back, hinge back, hinge back. Bend your knees just a little more slightly. This actually works for a lot of people. And it was really, I thought, a good transitional teaching movement, okay? But again, for most females, sadly, they would still say, I don't feel it in my hamstrings. Okay, that's because God wants you to have babies and all, all these other issues that we can't really describe here because I don't know anything about anatomy, okay? Um, so I came up with what's known as HAT. The Hinge Assessment Tool. Actually, I just, it took a long time to come up with anything to call it. I, I, I was going to call it ham originally, but I couldn't think of like machine. That'd be too stupid. So... What I'm going to ask her to do is very simple. She's just going to come up here, use one hand to balance, and she's going to stick one foot up into a single leg deadlift. Please for me. Into a single leg deadlift. Now, she did a perfect job because she's female. See how her toe is up and out? What I'm going to do to teach her this is I'm going to turn this foot under. Oh, let's do it again. Let's start with, is that a hinge? See how high her left butt cheek is? Now, I twist this underneath like that. Now, I could put two glasses of water on there, but that's not yet the hinge. The hinge, bend that right knee slightly, would you? Do you can you guys see the shaking in the pants already? She's hinging now. That hamstring's on fire. She can, the reason her, her pants are shaking is because the hamstrings connect not here, but on the ca underneath the calf. Now, to make her hinge correctly, I'm going to pull slightly back and make her fight. And you can see the amount of shaking increasing as she does that. That is going to be her hinge position. So when she does one, are one-legged deadlifts a quality exercise for an athlete? If they do them like this, yes. If they do them like this, no. This becomes some bizarre adductor QL thingy. <laughs> Very technical term thingy. This becomes a hinge teaching movement, okay? So what I'm gonna ask everybody to do is to partner up, and I want everybody to do the hinge assessment tool with each other. This should make great television. <laughs> <laughs>